So Apple TV games are great and all, you can hook up your PS4 controller, which is pretty cool. But the real deal though is when you hook up your Steam games and play them on your Apple TV. You can do that now. So in this video, I'll show you all the things that you need, a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to do it, and also some troubleshooting along the way. So let's see how you can actually play Steam games on your Apple TV. Okay, let's start with everything that you'll need first. To start with, you need an Apple TV, of course a gaming laptop or a PC or even a Mac and the high speed Wi-Fi connection, I'd recommend 50 Mbps or 5 GHz Wi-Fi router for best experience. And of course, a Bluetooth controller. For this instance, we'll use a PS4 controller. Now that you have everything that you need, let's see how you can actually set it up on your Apple TV. Firstly, open the Steam app on your laptop or Mac and then head over to the internet and download Steam on your PC if you haven't already. I assume you have, because you're playing Steam games. Well, Steam is the app that you use to play games on PC and Mac. Steam Link is used for playing games on bigger screens like Apple TV. For that, go to Menu, and you can see the options on the top left corner, and then click on Steam, and then go to Settings. You'll see the list of settings, and in the list, open the Remote Play option and enable it. Next, click Advanced Host Options below the Linked Devices list. On the following screen, and enable dynamically adjust capture resolution to improve performance. Also enable hardware encoding and prioritize network traffic, and then click OK. Now we have to connect a controller to your Apple TV, so switch on the Apple TV and scroll down and then open settings. Now you can go to remote and devices, and then click on Bluetooth, add a new device, and then press and hold the controller share button, you know, PS button, and then linking it to the device. Now let's move on to your Apple TV and download the Steam Link app. You can do that by going to the App Store and then just downloading the Steam Link. Once you've done it, just open it. And then a window comes up. It shows you your host device. Also, make sure that your Apple TV and laptop are on the same Wi-Fi network. So select your laptop and then click OK. Then provide your four digit PIN. Now back to your host device. That's your laptop, of course, and then enter the PIN. Then it'll check your network speed and if it's good enough, then it shows you your paired device. So you can just click on start and then start playing the game. Look. To end the streaming on your Steam Link, press the menu button on the controller and then scroll down to the power button in the upper right corner of the screen and then press that. So yeah, that setup was easy and all, but here are some of the most common problems that you might encounter in the meantime. For instance, you may get this saying, Steam may need to download new drivers for GamePad. If that's the case, follow the instructions on the screen. Another error that you might get is, graphics are not good enough. If you see that, ideally you'd need a high-speed network connection, like say 50 to 100 Mbps. Or better yet, stick to games that are not graphically intense or tank the frame rate by affecting your internet speed. So there you go, that's how you finally play Steam games on your Apple TV. And it took a while for Apple TV to get along with Valve so they can bring Steam Link to the Apple ecosystem. But they actually finally did it. While you're at it, check out our other videos that we've done on the best Apple TV games from the arcade that came out a couple of months ago and the best Steam games that you can play on your PC or on your Apple TV now. As always, I'm Vamsi, thanks for watching. And if you're new here, subscribe and click on the bell icon because I've been repeating the same thing again and again. YouTube just doesn't seem to listen. See ya.